Every Way Woman is so excited to welcome back to the show, Roxy Beckles. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So you as a fitness expert know better than anyone that it's not just about the workout in the gym, it's about what you're doing in the kitchen. Absolutely. The, everyone asks what, what's the best way to get a six pack abs and really it's through your diet. So hopefully we can clear some things out for everyone today. Okay, so step one, if it's all about my diet, what do I need to be aware of on an everyday basis? I think a lot of people don't realize how important hydration is. So making sure that you're getting in all the water that you should be drinking a day. They say get those eight, eight, out, those eight glasses of 64 ounces a day. Really try to aim for increasing your water intake and you'll find that that might actually help to curtail some hunger as well. And it'll help your skin. Yes, it definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> Get that natural glow and your six pack all at the same time. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the next thing we need to focus on? Number two, very important, increase the amount of fibrous vegetables that you're taking in per day. And also think about including nice colorful uh, fruits that are in season as well. You know, As the seasons change, especially as summer comes around, you've got fresh berries and all kinds of things that are really great for helping to stave off hunger that help to also decrease that sweet tooth tooth a little bit and also will help your waistline as well. So when you say fibrous vegetables, what exactly do you mean? We mean things like the green leafy uh, lettuces, uh, things like broccoli, cabbage, anything that has a little bit of a roughage to it, of course. So making sure that you get some of those in, in a nice colorful salad or even steaming them or grilling them as well is very important. Is there a certain time of day that we should aim for having those vegetables? Any time of the day is fine. Anytime. Any time of okay. the day is fine, as long as you get them all in. You could even juice in the morning. That's what I like to do. Definitely that way I don't do. even have to eat the vegetables. I can just drink them and call it a day. Right. You got to do what's easiest for you. So of course, doing what works for your schedule, very important. But more importantly, is definitely getting them in. Just get them in. Okay. Step three. Step three. Number three. Tip number three. Increase your healthy fats. A lot of people have fats as like the devil or yeah, something Yeah, you say like the word that. fat and I'm like, oh, I don't really know if I want to increase that. And honestly speaking, if you don't eat healthy fats, you could actually be slowing down your metabolism and a whole bunch of other things that come with not eating or keeping healthy fats in the diet. Red flag. Absolutely. So what people also don't realize is that having fats in your diet also keeps you sa sa satiated a lot longer. So you'll go, be, be able to go longer between meals without having to be so hungry again. So increasing things like nuts, avocados, oils like olive oil and coconut oil are very great additions to any healthy eating plan. So a handful of nuts between meals. Absolutely, or even with a meal sometimes as well, could be enough to help you to keep your hunger under control, which in turn is going to help you to eat less and therefore see positive changes in your physique. Okay, and last but definitely not least. Last and definitely not least is to make sure that you are consistent. So with all of these things, yeah, it's great if you try it once or twice, but the thing that's really going to get you the results that you'd like to see is consistency. So making sure that you stick to your plan over time is more important than anything else. A conscious effort every day, not just Monday. Absolutely, <laughs> not just Monday. Make it a seven-day-a-week effort. I, I find that it's easier to start the week off right, and by Friday, I want to have a splurge. I want to treat myself. What would be a healthy splurge? You know, I don't like to categorize things and when you're talking about a splurge as to healthy or unhealthy. If you're consistently doing what you need to do 90% of the time, that 10% of whatever you want to eat is not going to is not going to hurt you. So, having your That's burger and fries, having your slice of cheesecake or even your ice cream, whatever you want. If you have it like let's say once during the week or so, or sometimes even twice during the week, if you're doing 90% of the right and healthy things, that 10% really doesn't matter. All right, ladies, so you know to make a conscious effort every day and splurge only 10% of the time. Stay tuned for more Every Way Woman. Thank you so much, Roxy. Thank you very much.